this video we will discuss about uh, determining whether the given signals are going to be periodic or a periodic in nature now the first example is x of t that means they have given us a continuous time signal and we have to check whether it is periodic or non periodic so always follow two steps while determining the signals periodicity first try to find time period with this equation 2 pi pi omega we know this equation uh, omega is always equals to 2 pi by t or 2 pi into f so by this you can find the total time period as t this will be our first step and in second step try to check whether the time period is rational it should be a rational rational means ratio of two integers if both the terms numerator as well as denominators are going to be integer then only the signal is going to be periodic in nature let us see this example x of t is sine 50 pi t now in order to find total time period we'll compare this signal with cos sorry we'll compare it with sine omega t because it is given as a sine form so if i compare both the terms with sine we'll get omega is equals to 50 pi now we'll replace omega by 2 pi by t so this is 2 pi upon t is equals to 50 pi so this pi and this will get cancelled and this 2 to the this will be 25 that means we got a time period t is equal to if i shift it here this becomes 1 upon 25 now you can see the numerator is 1 and denominator is 25 and both are integers that means this is a rational number and if it is rational we can say that the given signal is periodic with 1 by 25 seconds so finally we can write this is periodic with 1 by 25 seconds and by that we can define it also the signal is going to repeat itself after every 1 by 25 seconds uh, you know better uh, definitions of periodic and non periodic signals also a signal is said to be periodic if it repeat itself after a certain interval of time if it is continuous and if it not repeat itself it is going to be non periodic signal now let us consider another example x of t is given in the form of exponential now what we need we need omega so we will compare this with e raised to j omega t so i am writing it here compare the given signal with the standard form as e raised to j omega t we don't have to deal with amplitude we have to only determine the frequency component so we are comparing with e raised to j omega t so if i compare these two terms we will get j is same t is same that means omega is equals to 5 now we will replace omega by 2 pi upon t is equals to 5 therefore t becomes if i shift it here 2 pi divided by 5 now if you see this is 2 pi that means 2 into 3.14 upon 5 so 3.14 into 2 will be 6.28 that means numerator is fraction whereas denominator is integer but our condition is what time period should be rational it should be integer of two integers or ratio of two integers hence we can say that this is irrational and if it is irrational we can finally write given signal is a periodic in nature or one can say that this is a non periodic signal now the questions are going to be asked in a way like this one it can be either exponential form sine cosine or similar way we'll see another example on this one now let us assume that uh, the given signal is given as addition of two different signal with frequency component let cos pi by 3t plus another one we'll assume as sine pi upon 5 into t so if i want to determine whether the given signal like short t is going to be periodic what we have to do we have to find individual time periods time period of cos and time period of sine that they are t1 and t2 also once you got them then only we can decide whether the given signal is periodic or not periodic now in this case first we will concentrate on this one so i am assuming let this is x1 t as cos of pi upon 
3 into t now we will compare this with cos omega t that is comparing with cos omega 1 t because we assume this as a first signal so we will get omega 1 is equals to pi 3 this is 2 pi by t1 is equals to pi upon 3 now this 2 will get cancelled and we will get a t1 is equal to worship there this is 2 into 3 will be 6 that means the first time period that we got is 6 seconds now we will come across the second one this is the sinusoidal that is x2 t is equals to sin of into t now we will compare this with sin sin omega 2t we will get omega 2 is equals to pi, up, pi by 5 that is 2 pi upon t2 is equals to pi by 5 so this this will get cancelled and we will get t2 is equals to multiplication of this that is going to be 10 seconds so first time period we got 6 seconds and another one is 10 seconds now the combined time period we have to determine that is t capital t how can you find this so for that case we have to Go for the same condition condition is what t should be rational rational means it should be a ratio of both integers and from that we can write rationality as t total time period is equals to t1 by t2 so if it is t1 by t2 we'll put their values also this is 6 upon 10 this is going to be 6 by 10 or one can write this is 3 by 5 also now we have to determine total time period so we will cross multiply these terms we will get t is equals to t1 into 5 that is 5 times t1 is equals to 3 into t2 that is 3 times t2 now we go and put these values t1 is 6 seconds so if i put this value here 5 into 6 is equals to 3 into t2 we got 10 seconds that means in both the ways 6 into 5 is 30 seconds and 3 into 10 is 30 seconds that means the total time period is going to be 30 seconds and hence we can say that the given signal is going to be periodic in nature with 30 seconds so whenever the question is asked with different time period you just go for this effect